Hey Virgos, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We're doing your January 2022 reading. Um, if you do not <clears throat> follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. Um, every week for general, every other week for love. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and um, book me for personal readings, you do that through the link in the bio on Instagram, as well as um, looking for any purchases of my books. Okay, so I'll have the... Um, Instagram in the link below, um, in the description box below as well, um, as well as my link tree. Okay. Today you guys, we're going to do strictly tarot and then I'm going to go ahead and throw some, the universe has your back Oracle at the end. What I'm using today is, um, my Disney villains, Oracle deck, I mean, Oracle, um, tarot and my Disney villains tarot deck that I got for Christmas, you guys. So we're just going to use strictly the tarot and then we're going to go ahead and get the, a couple of those universe has your back Oracle. Okay. Yeah, the Three of Cups, so celebration definitely is going to be happening. Um, some type of reconciliation. You could be dealing with the Cancer. Um, maybe some drinks involved here, maybe a date. Um, but definitely some type of coming together here um, come January 2022. I think it's been something that you've been waiting for, Virgo. I think it's something that you... Yeah, with the Three of Wands, you've seen it coming. This is your ships coming in, and you're actually happy that that this is how yeah with the star card this is for you this is a gift from the universe that you've been waiting for virgo look virgos are ever so patient all of us earth signs are i'm a virgo moon too so i'm i'm a i'm part of that virgo collective but i feel like you're the star here virgo and whatever you say goes yeah with the chariot card and i feel like you're progressively moving forward to, towards something you love um there could be somebody under judgment around you maybe a scorpio or a sagittarius virgo for um for bringing some type of altercation or some kind of aggression here um moving forward here there could have been somebody who is very sociopathic in nature around you um <clears throat> But I feel like as your ships are coming in, Virgo, this person's, this narcissistic person from the past or this sociopath here, this person that was very unethical in nature with the star card, it could have been an Aquarius or a Cancer. Um, they're about to get theirs. Trust. Trust and believe they're about to get theirs. That's why the judgment card is under the deck. Also, um, judgments about reconciliation as well. So once again, just like three of cups in the beginning of the deck, uh, uh, under the deck as well with the, these, this three of wands, 33 is going to be very significant for a lot of you guys. So it's 17 and 77, but, um, I want you guys to realize that reconciliation doesn't always mean that you guys are going to get back together, but there's definitely some kind of peace offering that's coming towards you with the judgment card. Yeah, and there's definitely some kind of options here. Somebody realized that they fucked up in the past, but I feel like also somebody realized that they were lied to, and because they were lied to, they treated you some type of way. Yeah, most definitely with the Eight of Cups here, um, the Nine of the Nine of Pentacles. This person, if you guys were dating in the past, somebody lied to them and said that they saw you possibly in the car with somebody else. Or, um, something happened here. Some major, something majorly aggressive happened here. Possibly in a car. There could be some kind of car crash happening in your near future, Virgo. Either, uh, you or the person that you're directly dealing with. But I feel like, um, this person was very disillusionized in the past. Uh, I mean, they were very delusional in the past. And now they're disillusionized, like they're actually getting out of that illusion, out of that a fog, out of that, um, damn, I was I was a bitch in the past, or damn, I, I shouldn't have treated this person that way. And um, I feel like it's too late. It's just too late. I'm hearing it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Yeah. Oh, my God. But with the Ten of Cups, this is your ha this this has to happen because somebody was trying to block your happiness. I feel like you were being gang stalked as well, Virgo. Like there could have been some kind of family function that that you were at where um, there was a lot of gossip being told about you, or there was a lot of um, 
Yeah, I feel like a lot of gossip spread. Like they were talking about you. They were trying to, somebody was trying to ruin your reputation and that was a negative. It just didn't happen, Virgo. No. And I feel like it could have been, a, it could have been a boss figure that, or um, an ex of some sort here that uh, with the King of Cups that's going through judgment here. Somebody could be an alcoholic as well, Virgo. Um, somebody could actually um, crash drinking and driving. So be very, very careful. This holiday season, especially during the first, do not drink and drive, you guys. Like, really, that's very, um, that's very, um, that's a very strong message coming through. Like I said, especially during the first with the star card here. Um, especially during Aquarius season, Virgo, be careful who you get in the car with and who you're, um, who you're dealing with, especially if you're dealing with the cancer here, I, especially a bipolar cancer. I feel like a, a cancer or an Aquarius may be getting arrested January in January 2022. It could be a family member, like I said. Um, <clears throat> it could um, it could be a fellow Virgo here, but I feel like you're gonna be left single. I feel like so, a lot of you guys are gonna be breaking up as well. Yeah, a lot of you guys, are, like emancipation, a lot of you guys are just breaking up with your family. Like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of, um, a lot of gossip here and a lot of uh, people with malintentions and Virgo, you're just gonna leave them all behind because you don't, you don't, I feel like you have your established family already. Because with the nine of um, the nine of pentacles, they're really highlighting the ten of pentacles. So you have soul family, you have established family. You don't need the family that you were born into. Yeah, the presence of love will always cast away fear, and that's what this soul family gives you. The key to prayer is to forget what I need because you're provided for. These these narcissistic people of the past, Virgo, are nothing compared to what you're about to evolve into. In any moment, I can surrender to the powerful presence of love through prayer, contemplation, and stillness. <coughs> Virgo, they know that you're favored. They know that you're, you're favored <coughs> in this realm and in the next. And that's why they can't, they can't stand you. There is a stream of love supporting my dreams. That's all you need to know, Virgo. Know that the universe has your back here and whatever it is that's going on with the karmics or with the people that is going on around you is not going to affect you. Your bubble is protected. You're protected. All right. That's what I have for you guys. Um, have a great 2022. Bye.